now if you could drag that rudder oh, man. in the no, water. Oh man, that would be awesome. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that again. Oh my goodness. There, there it goes, and we're probably gonna splash. Oh, we splashed. <laughs> I just didn't have enough room. <laughs> You're lucky you're landing how you need to. We oh, did not bring the man. kayak today. Yeah, that was pure luck. Okay, we did it twice, so I'm not done do doing that. that. <laughs> Ooh, my heart's racing. <laughs> Welcome to Float Week on the RC Sailors. That's right, not Boat Week, but Float Week. How could we have Float Week on the RC Sailors without the amazing pontoon twin otter? This is a twin motor, very mesmerizing when these props are rotating. One of my all time favorites, leave the floats on 100% of the time, water plane. Yeah, you buy this plane and it comes with optional floats or landing gear and it does great with both. I did the maiden flight with the wheels and the landing gear, but since then I've flown this many times, both on and off the channel. Uh, with the floats on because it's amazing and in snow and in the snow that's right i've flown in the, mm -hmm. the snow quite a few times it has a steerable rudder which is connected via push rod to your steering servo for the wheel up front kind of an interesting design but it works well it also has differential thrust with these motors which helps it steer on the water really 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 well we've been blessed with this nice beautiful calm day here on the lake so let's get right to it and put this in the air and have some fun this is something I've never really talked about about this plane, but this single thumb screw here is very, very, very well done. Uh, that's what holds the main wing on entirely. And today I had to take advantage of that because we crammed a lot of float planes in our car. And so I wanted to talk about that. That's just one screw that comes out and you can take the main wing off and kind of shift it around. So that's a massively helpful point for some people without as much space, even for storage, that was really nice. This plane does have flaps too, which is really nice, but check out that steerable rudder in the back, just moving in unison with the airplane rudder. It's very awesome. You will press like on this video. <laughs> I think we're gonna go for half flaps on this takeoff, but guys, check this out. With that differential thrust and that steerable rudder, as long as we have a little bit of power under those props with airflow moving back toward that rudder, movement is what you need it steers really well We've very controllable on the water and that comes in really handy i believe safe is on half flaps let's go for takeoff the lights on this plane are amazing too see i can build my speed up a little bit the way i like and then lift off just kind of cool just kind of cool rather than punching it in full elevator like the little carbon cub We've got some friendly fishermen out on the lake. You guys may see their boats. <laughs> uh, we spoke with them before our takeoff, actually. So flaps are going up and had a little bit of a drop there because we're still shedding some water. Safe is still <laughs> on just because I haven't flown this plane in so long, uh, but moving much faster than the Carbon Cub S2. This is just an awesome airplane. Throttle up and bank because we've got some trees over there. <laughs> crazy standing on a dock and then pivoting around like this and trying not to fall on the lake while filming a video and <laughs> flying a plane. <laughs> you got like three feet of space before okay, you fall. Abby, I think we're going to try to turn safe off and commit to some maneuvers on this. All right. I love the twin otter. It's so cool. Safe off and loop it. Just throttle up. And you didn't even back. nose down. Wow. No, it's got power. Wow. For a 3S airplane, it's Ooh, very roll. Oh yeah. And I'm just doing this a little high because it's uh, been a while since I've flown it with floats and I don't even know if it was here, so. I wonder if we can fly inverted on this. There's one way to find out. Yeah, we can, definitely. Oh, that's cool. It, I thought maybe it didn't have enough elevator and we'd have to fight it pretty hard the whole time, but no, it's doing good. It's pretty sweet. Now if you could drag that rudder oh, man. in the no, water. Oh man, that'd be awesome. <laughs> no, we're gonna stall. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And I saved it, I saved it. Wow, did you see that? What just happened? I forgot happened? that I've done that before. <laughs> 
That's actually a really fun. I don't know how well do. I filmed that, guys. Sorry. That was insane. I, I want to try to do that again. I want to try to do life. that again. That was really fun. I forgot <laughs> we can do that. Do it it's because this thing has the extra weight on the bottom, and those floats make it tumble really wild in the sky. Let's. I'll do it on the right snap, side. I'm snapping it. Okay. Well, that, it can't snap, but it can do that crazy. Yeah. Do crazy that on the right side. Tumble maneuver. Are you ready? Yep. I'm gonna try. Try it out here. See if I can do that again. Oh my goodness. There, there it goes. And we're probably going to splash. Oh, we splashed. <laughs> I just didn't have enough room. <laughs> you're lucky you're landing how you need to. We oh, did not bring the man. kayak today. Yeah, that was pure okay, luck. We did it twice, so I'm not done do doing that. that. <laughs> Ooh, my heart's racing. <laughs> if you do that higher, it's kind of fun. You just kind of do like a front loop. Okay. And, and we splashed down pretty hard. So, so what are you doing on your controls? That's like full down elevator. Really? That's terrifying. <laughs> it just starts tumbling uh, because because the weight of the floats just make it like perfectly <laughs> balanced when it starts doing that front tumble. And if I was higher when I started it, uh, I could really get it going fast. Totally not meant to do that. Like this plane's not meant to do that. It's just kind of a neat, <laughs> stupid little bonus thing you can do. I don't recommend it because I got really lucky twice. Okay, guys, that was really fun. Uh, I'm going to try to bring this in for a nice smooth landing with full flaps. Let's see, if I remember right, this one climbs a little. Yeah, it climbs some with flaps. So there's full flaps. Let's see if we can bring it in for a smooth landing. This one's fun to land. That wasn't Ooh. smooth. Had a little ploppy bounce. So I'll try maybe fun, one though. more time. Sure. Oh, I did a little aileron on that. We'll bring <laughs> it in from right to left this time. Okay. We don't have any wind. Just committing to full flaps still. throttle it's fun to just flare this thing right there oh, that was pretty fun that was good if we're coming down as fast as i was that was pretty smooth i've had smoother landings like an elegant swan on this thing before but that'll work i'm really happy with this uh, i love the twin otter especially with floats it is just in my opinion one of the best airplanes that you can put in the water and we proved today that landing gear those <laughs> pontoons are very durable <laughs> yes they are the Twin Otter with floats. This may be the most soaked I'll ever be bringing this home because of those two splashes uh, from that wild maneuver. But you know what? It survived and I'm really happy. It's just a lot of fun. I've had it for a long time. Uh, this is still my original Twin Otter. There's a newer one with telemetry and everything, but this is still my original. I keep it with my floats on because it's awesome. This is just my go-to float plane. If I'm in the mood to fly a plane off of water, I grab this and I go. But I've got my Sport Cub S2 with floats now too, and a couple other planes coming to the channel for float week to have a lot of fun maidening off of water. See, I knew with confidence we'd have a good time with this one. And there's some new people that have joined the channel since the last time I flew this, so I knew that a lot of you guys would get a kick out of it. I love the lights on this. It's just a really good airplane that I hope is around for a long time. This will be linked in the description box below, as well as the radio that the one I'm flying on is actually my DX6E. That's my really old radio. I've, I've, everything's like loose and no good on that thing anymore, but I still use it. There's a newer, better radio, six channel radio that's out now, and we'll link that in the description box below. I have it too, and I fly most of my modern planes on that. Same batteries that we're flying on and everything, they'll all be linked down there. Using those links, if you click it, it'll bring the plane and everything right up, but it also helps to support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. So we appreciate you uh, clicking the link and helping us out. Guys, flying planes off water is a little bit less predictable than flying off of land. Uh, if it goes down and something goes bad, it's gonna be a lot harder to get it back. You might have to call out and get some boat help or bring a kayak. And you never know when something could go wrong in the world of RC. It's very fun, but sometimes unpredictable. And for that unpredictability, I'm just glad that I always have AMA in my pocket. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program for RCs, believe it or not. It exists and it does a very good job uh, just giving me peace of mind, ease of mind while I'm flying my planes. If you'd like to learn more, we'll have them linked in the description box below. Now for this great, beautiful day, getting out here at the lake and sharing today and this experience with you guys, there's only one that I can think to thank and that is God. I am so grateful not just to share this hobby with you guys, 
but just life in general. So a massive thanks to him. Also a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters, guys. We couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. So we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. If you are crazy somehow and missed yesterday's video or the most recent video on our channel of flying the Sport Cub S2 off of the lake, that was a lot of fun. It's, a, it's like the size of maybe this prop. You know, compared to this plane, it's a very different beast flying off of water. And if you missed it, you should definitely check it out. That video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!